Welcome to King Says So, a channel that advocates for one Africa, one land, one Africa, one language, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army. I wish to witness Africans all around the world united as one in our lifetime. Enjoy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, King King 053, Mr. Easy Ning, and we're back at it again with my best politician in Africa. In Africa, um, we say Ninglozi will be uh, top five politicians, dead or alive. Top five. That's how highly I rate this man. Mbuiseni Ngozi. We must get a nickname for Mbuiseni Ngozi. Siras. We must get a, a nice nickname for him. You guys, please go in the comment section. Let's suggest a nickname for Mbuiseni Ngozi that we, we're going to start calling him going forward. I don't know. African son of the soil. So I don't know. You you guys are more creative than me. Let's uh, let's play around with some names on the comment section. A nickname for Mbuiseni Ngozi. He was there giving a speech at the, uh, I think a memorial service, Yaga uh, Mango Sutu Butelezi. Why do I always want to mess that up? Mango Sutu Butelezi uh, Memorial Service in KZN. And he was, he was spitting fire, man. He was spitting fire. Let's just quickly listen to him and I'll come back with a comment. Hypocrites who want to educate us about our own history and the leadership that stabilized this country into a politically peaceful environment. We are here to memorialize a man of peace. We are here to memorialize a person that built peace. And peace is not the language of cowards. Peace is not the language of opportunists. Don't be listening to people who want to tell us about collaborators. We're not scared of them. We know the true collaborators who are still collaborating to this day to deny our people the land, to deny our people banks, to deny our people economic freedom in our lifetime. Never be shaken by those talks. We know because they just collaborated a few years ago by killing the workers of Marikana, choosing the owners of Lon Min Mine over the workers, black workers that were fighting for a living wage. Do not be shaken. Ushenge was a man of peace. Was a man of peace. One minute, Honorable Singh. I'm going to be done. One minute. I pipe lagal funda, the biggest fundi sanga loliti. Happy are the peacemakers, for they are the sons. They shall be called the sons of God, the children of God. We call on the IFP to honor the peace of Shane. President, you must unite your forces under this legacy. Let me tell you something, President. When we founded the EFF, we learned something important from the IFP. It is the only political formation that could take on the ANC toe-to-toe. Toe-to-toe. The hegemony, the dominance. We knew it's possible, Mkulego, because you as the IFP made it possible. We knew we were going to survive. If you don't know we're going to survive, you should have seen FNP Stadium. And if FNP Stadium did not convince you, 2024 is coming. And together with the IFP, we're going to make history here in KwaZulu Natal and elsewhere. Rest in eternal peace, Sheng. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Lozi. So, one thing that I like, you guys know on this channel, I am very big with. Um, when I analyze people, facial expression, voice, tone, and body language. I express. I, I, I'm an expert when it comes to reading those things. When a person speaks, 
I can, I can tell the way in which they move their body, the way in which they have their facial expression, the volume in which they use when they choose words, how they speak, how they articulate themselves whenever they speak. I can tell you if the person is genuine or not. I can tell you. The EFF must never, ever, 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 ever make a mistake of letting this man go anywhere. We need this man in politics. We need Mbuyiseni Ngozi in politics. In EFF politics. Great speech deliverer. Just like, you know, Jacob Zuma, how he can catch the attention of people. I would also say um, Melusi Gigaba. Melusi Gigaba is, you remember when he was the Minister of Finance, how he would capture our thoughts, capture our attention when he speaks. Julius Malema. Uh, I would say maybe even Tawumbeki, um, Nelson Mandela. That is the class of which I put, I put Mbuisen and Jose in. I'm putting him in that class class of top people you understand professor M M uh, lumumba like i uh, like you understand what i'm trying to say to you guys so um it's very nice to see to see to to hear what he was speaking but my takeaway was that when we die guys we will not be there to speak for ourselves obviously People will be speaking on our behalf. And um, the, the, uh, after uh, uh, Mr. Butelezi passed away, there was those talks of, you know, him being part of that war of the ANC uh, versus the, the IFP in KZN where a lot of people were killed, a lot of people. And some said he's the one that started that war, who was an, uh, advocating for that war, promoting that war. Between, because many people, you know, people are just coming in houses, shooting and killing, um, um, uh, uh, mixed with the apartheid police and all of that. They, uh, you know, I'm, I don't have the full story on that. I, I just see clips here and there. So I'm not going to comment too much on it. But for me, it was that thing, that issue that people will remember us for what we stood for when we were alive. And it makes me wonder. What will we remember the politicians that are currently living for when they die? You understand? I said this. If Tulima Donzella was celebrated for attacking Jacob Zuma for basically the Nkanda issue, she was celebrated. Why is it that we um Mbusisiwe Mkwabane is hated and punished for attacking Sir Ramaphosa for the Palapala and the CRC, CR7 campaign. Why is it? How are we going to remember these people? You remember when um, Andre the Rita came into the, the uh, ESCOM? And he came into ESCOM? Everyone was laughing at Brian Mulefe because he cried at a, I think it was a press briefing when he cried. Everyone called him a softy. We don't need men like this anymore. But he was running ESCOM efficiently. Look what Andre Derrick. Guys, every th problem that we have right now in South Africa is because of Andre Derrick. Because of the appointment of Andre Derrick. Now, Uwe Seninglozi is speaking strong things that he never left that opportunity to remind people what the ANC did in Americana. And he never left the opportunity. He never missed the opportunity to tell the people what is going to happen in 2024. And hear what he says. He says, we... Uh, the AFF with the IFP will, will, will take on the ANC. He's not there to take the voters of IFP. He's not saying IFP come to us. We certainly lose this code. Oh my God. Uh, a brilliant political mind. But 
Go back and play the clip again, guys, and look at his his body language when he speaks. Look at uh, uh, the, the 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 program director stood up to tell him, "Listen, your time is is out now. You have we have given you." Listen to how he asked for one more minute, and listen to the uh, the people how they respond. Listen to him. Mbuisani Ngozi is a he's a one of a kind, guys. He's one of a kind, guys. My goodness. Is him and Andile, uh, Andile of Blackfest Landfest. My goodness. I want to meet those people. My goodness, I want to meet them so bad. But like I always say, God willingly, we're going to meet South Africa is too small. It's not possible that you don't meet someone here in South Africa. As long as we speak it and put it out there in the universe, it will surely come back. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me, what do you think about Bison and Do you think I'm right in uh, labeling him as one of the best politicians in South Africa right now? And uh, going as far as saying he's one of the best politicians in Africa? I uh, think I'm, I'm, I'm sucking uh, water out of a stone? You tell me, guys. Um, don't forget to tell me where you're from um, on the comment section. Let me do a shout out for you guys. I see you. I see you, Bloomfontein. I see you. Uh, uh, Midrand. There's a lot of people from Midrand. Midrand. Yo, I love you guys. You can book me, guys, for for for, for uh, public speaking. I do public speaking. Book me for events. If you want me to MC an event, if you want me to do a guest, uh, uh, guest speaking or whatever, book me, guys. No problem. It will come at a fee, but you know, you won't regret it. Once your boy King053 catches the mic, I will capture the minds of our people and liberate them from all of this nonsense of the Western culture still embroiled in our minds. In our minds. You no. Know? Back in the days of apartheid, you used to give your children white names, white names so that they can they can be easily pronounced by their masters apartheid apparently ended in 2004 i mean 1994 but even today people are still giving their their children what now they have run away from the white names now they call it the christian names it's wrong africans give your children african names africans stop this thing of white weddings Stop that thing. Even the word white wedding should tell you that you as an African should not participate in that. But anyway, that's not the video today. Just wanted to speak about Mbuise and Njozi. One of them, one of the few people I actually look up to in South Africa. Until next time, don't forget to pray. Just know your boy King053 in Mr. Easy. Imali and Salute you. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, Leave your thoughts on the comment section and hit the like and subscribe button and we will meet on the next one.